Hey guys, welcome to my garage slash pre-shop. <laughs> and today what I'm going to be working on is a shadow box uh, set of shelves, kind of. Um, it's going to be roughly 18 inches wide, about 22 inches tall, and it'll have glass shelves and it'll have a glass door, and it should be able to hold uh, four shelves, and they should all be able to be spaced about four inches apart. So hopefully that'll go well. Have all my plans and my notes from what I made for that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I have some rough cherry, and I'm just gonna kinda mark out what I have and what pieces I need. I have a piece of chalk so that way it won't interfere with the finish, but I'll still be able to see it on the cherry. It's a little bit easier than with the pencil. So that will be the first things that I will get done. So let's hop to it. All right, so the first things that I need is a pair of 22 inch long by four inch wide, and also a pair of 18 inch long and four inch wide. So I think I'm going to see how much space I have on either side of this knot. It's kind of falling apart, and so I don't really want to mess with trying to deal with that. So I'm going to see if I can stay on either side of it. Might be able to get a piece in underneath here, just to kind of see where I'm at, see how much, how much space I have to work with. And just check both sides of the board. And this side looks all right, so I think I'll stay on this side and see where things end up. So I have a bit of a crack on this side, but it stays on this side, which kind of tells me that the grain is probably running in sort of this orientation. Yep, so this is the middle of the log was right here, and that's kind of why I'm getting that check there. But I think that should be okay, because I think it only goes to about here, so that should be all right. And 22 inches puts me here, and a little bit of extra, so plenty of space that way. And I wonder if I can get 18 inches off the end of that. And it looks like I can. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. And I think I'm going to go grab a square and be right back. Done. All right, so all I have left is actually an 18 by 4, and that should be able to come out of this piece. So let's get that one done, and then I can take a look at how I'm going to attack these. All right, so I've got all my pieces marked out now. The 18 by 4s are actually harder to get on these two boards than I thought they would be. There's a lot of defects, a lot of knots and cracks and splits and barely missed over here, and then there's another one up here and right there and down here, and those ends are both too narrow. And then this would only have made it to here, which would have been okay, except on this side, it's only like two and a half inches wide. So that was interesting. I guess I'll have a lot of leftover for uh, other projects. Um, so that's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, something where I'm not quite as picky with what things look like, but. So the next thing I'm going to do, just to kind of make things a little bit more manageable, is I'm going to cut a bunch of them into pieces 
so that they're closer to where they will be lengthwise. So I'll probably cut the end off of that one, then I'll cut it off probably here, and then I'll cut this one off as well, and then I'll cut those two off, and then eventually I'll bring them inside, but I've got some finish that I'm applying to another computer project, so that's why I'm not in the shop right now. I'm actually out in my garage with this folding table and some of my workbench. So I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm just going to hopefully get them into some pieces that are a little bit easier to handle so that way I can get them into the shop once the finish is done drying. So let's get that part of it done too. some and then using a marking knife to get more accurate measures so I don't have to rough cut and then recut and all that kind of stuff but I don't know we'll see that'll be for another day because I think that's about all I've got for today Perhaps wait for the finish to dry on the other piece before I can get these pieces into the shop and get those work done so thanks for checking it out catch you later